Hey, hello guys. Would you like to learn how to create these trendy gradients like the video that I'm going to show you right now? Just stay in this video because I'm going to teach you how. Okay guys, before we start, just want to talk a little bit about it because I've seen many people working with this type of gradients, like the, the guy from the design course, he was calling them Aurora gradients. Let's call them like that, Aurora gradients, but I have a different way to approach this style of design and I want to show you that in this video. So without any more delay, let's start designing. The first thing that we're going to do right now is go to Adobe XD. You can get this file in the description of this video completely for free. One of the main things that I want to do with the artboard that I have right here is just to use Use the eyedropper tool and pick this color that I have right here, which is F2 to E4B. You can put it like manually if you click it right here, or you can just use the eyedropper tool. And uh, after we have the main color, we're gonna select the ellipse tool and we're gonna create a shape, something like like that, like a weird circle, like a novel. I don't know how to call this shape, but it's something something similar to this. After that, I'm just gonna try to press Option and just to drag it to try to make like a like a light shape to something like that. I think it will look really cool and. And I'm gonna replace the fill options to radial gradient and it's gonna create this type of thing but I need to remove the border to make it look better after I select it I remove the border it's gonna look like something like let me press command so you can see it it's gonna look like something like this but it's fine we're gonna just fix that real, real quickly I'm gonna select the inside color the light color and it's gonna I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool for that I'm gonna select the lighter orange and in the darker color just click in it I'm just gonna select the darker that is like a darker red and I'm gonna go really low in the opacity, like maybe like 10%, that'll look fine. And it's gonna look like something like this. Let me press command, so you're gonna see, it's gonna be something like that, are you following along? After that, what we need to do is go to, instead of background blur, we're gonna go to object blur, and we're gonna increase it to the maximum. We're gonna have this result, which is gonna be like an oval shape, that is just, it was just like, you know, blur. However, the trick of this is just use double click in the shape, and then just start making, twisting the shape in a different way, to making it work better. I think something like that, we just drag it a little bit down and then just try to make it, you know, to create something more asymmetrical, but that's fine. Let's just move it a little bit. We just try to twist it a little bit to make it look better. And it's gonna look like something like this. Okay, the next step will be in Photoshop. We're gonna go to Photoshop and in Photoshop, we're gonna create a new document and it's gonna be 1920 by 1080. And then we're gonna name it noise. We're gonna click it, we're gonna click okay. It's gonna create this type of layer. We're just gonna double click the lock icon and you're gonna go to the filter noise and then you're gonna go to add noise and then you're gonna do it like a 20, let's do it like a 18% and it's gonna be uniform noise and we're gonna just click okay. We're gonna press command A and then uh, command C. After that, we're gonna go to a Adobe XD and we're gonna press command V and we're gonna have this layer of noise on top of the gradient that doesn't look that great but if we go to the blending modes and we just change it to multiply it's gonna start looking like something like like that and it looks really really cool however we just need to add the other details of the website right on top of it let me just try to lay out the elements again to something like let me change the color to a white color I'm just gonna try to take all the elements and place them where they supposed to go I forgot to mention that if you click this plus icon right here it's gonna add the color to the swatches in the program and you just need afterwards just to click it and you just start placing the elements where you think they might go you can just follow along and try to do it like this you can use these files however you want guys I'm just gonna put them in the description you can use it in your projects I don't mind about that and I'm gonna share this font that I that I found that is called founders grotesque that it looks beautiful and I just want to share it with you guys so I'm just gonna change the colors in the font and I'm just gonna place it right here I think this will look really fine like this and this little icon right here will look really cool if we put it like that okay so it's gonna we're gonna have this result something like the video that i showed you at the beginning that's totally fine. The next step I think will be to try to add a cool animation like I sh like I show you and it's going to be really simple. The thing the only thing we need to do is just take the artboard and press option uh, from the name you just press option and you drag it down. If you press shift, it doesn't move to the sides. So you just press shift and option and you're going to drag it down. And after you drag it down, the next step will be just to take this shape and try to stretch it, alter the shape somehow, making it longer. Something like this will be really cool. Just make it really really long and just stretch it to the side and just try to move it up to something like that and then 
the next step or after just you just mess up with the shape you just mess around with the shape and you create a new shape you're gonna go to the prototype mode and in the prototype mode you're gonna select the first artboard and you're gonna try to link it to the second one but the trigger is gonna be instead of tap it's gonna be time with a delay of zero seconds and you're gonna change um, the easing to ease in and out and the duration to five seconds to make it a loop so it goes you know all, it repeats itself we're just gonna take the other artboard and you're gonna link it to the uh, artboard that we have before and that's how we just get this final design that is just like you just need to press let me press command enter so you can see it and here we have it guys the design with the custom gradient animation i hope this video was useful for you guys and if you feel like you learned something new just give it a like that will help me a lot and will help me understand if you like this type of content thank you so much for watching and i guess i'll see you again in the next video